NFL on EA Sports as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Buffalo Bills and the Baltimore Ravens. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Alert, alert, alert. Alert. They start the drive with Cook. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while, because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. going to try and throw on third down. Throw left side complete. That's McKenzie. Room here to run. They're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal. And now the Raven defense going to call a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Here's Allen. Setting up the screen for Cook. Touchdown, Bills! James Cook from four yards out. And the Bills are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. The touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play, got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line.
Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 21. The drive will commence with a run by J.K. Dobbins. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy's setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. You really in two clock, my guy, for real? Already in the first quarter? Two now. Here's first and ten. So a little tardy getting everyone set, and the clock hits zero before they could snap it. Yeah, you can take your time and use the clock and try and get set up, but once it gets near five seconds, that's when you often hear a quarterback yelling, hurry, hurry, to make sure everybody's ready to get the snap off. yards on this series after the delay of game first and 15 and boy again they won't get this off in time I don't I don't get the point of this well everybody was up there ready at the line of scrimmage CD but no snap and the delay of game ensued yeah and I'm sure their head coach is asking the exact same thing what's going on out there almost like they thought they had more time than actually was on the clock now it's Jackson that's complete it's Devin Duvernay second and 15 to throw is Jackson. They're looking for Andrews, but this is... So you do all that bullshit just to throw a pick. I don't, I don't get you, bro. I don't get people like y'all. This is a really nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes, and when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. It's a give to Cook. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And when the defense wins and gives up no yardage on a running play, that's something they can build on and carry themselves forward throughout the game. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. a third and ten after the incompletion. Yeah. 
working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And Diggs has it. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Cook up the gut. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Options galore here, second and a few inches. Here's Allen to throw it. That'll be complete to Cook. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. On second and 11 now. Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Allen now looks to throw. And he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills have taken a two-touchdown lead now. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And it's good to make it 14 0. Makes the score Bills 14. Ravens nothing. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. A short kick taken at the 18. And he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further. set at the line for this next drive and they're in an early hole the first drive they threw the interception that led to a touchdown so decent sized deficit early on it is but I think you hit the key words early on so they have to decide do we even need to change game plan 
or do we just need to execute better? And he fires one that's intercepted. Bro, you are trash. You two clock and then throw two interceptions. Get off my field. I don't care if you're on your home turf. This is my house. There can be a tendency there to try and get it all back in one fell swoop. And that time, that thinking leads to an interception. And I believe you brought up a really good point there, Brandon, because you're trying to force plays, right? You try and get all back in one shot, just as you mentioned there. And you know you're going to need some big plays to get back into the game. But ultimately, you really can't force what isn't there. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 38. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Justin Matabike there to bring him down. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Allen going to try and run. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. The Bills on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and seven. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Now Allen. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. So that potentially an important takeaway here in the second quarter. Because what it does is give their offense a chance to put a drive together. They've got nothing on the scoreboard so far, so you have to think that they need something before the break. And now they have an opportunity. After the interception, here's Jackson. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And the Bills are going to take possession here at their own 33. So that changes things. You get the interception, and then to boot, a good return tacked on. And really, it was down to him versus the quarterback on the return, and that's one you would think the defender would win. But a nice job there of seeing the play all the way to the end and making the tackle by the QB. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here that can really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But it's the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? So how, did we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking, usually the best way to maintain control. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. Here's second and five now from the 37. Allen going to throw. And this hole incomplete. He tried to check it down to his running back and nearly had the ball picked. Well, they certainly did a nice job there picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Throwing now is Allen. Eluding the pressure right. 
And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. Works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. to throw once more. He finds his man complete. It's McKenzie. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. They'll give to Cook on the read option. Down to the 25. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. To throw, it's Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Isaiah McKenzie from eight yards out. And the Bills will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Well, I don't think that we're ready yet to say the route is on, but they have certainly looked near flawless here in this first half. And now an extra point away from making it 21-0. Yeah, and your experience led you to say that because we have both seen. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Not much leg here. Fields this at the 24-yard line. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now, that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't caught their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. No, we changed it. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. He sets to fire deep. Stop trying me, bro. You will never ag catch me, my guy. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Instead, second down. I usually hesitate when I say a guy's got world-class speed, but this guy might. So let's fire the starter's pistol. Let's go. If you've got him, you've got to try and use him. A lot of anticipation with the ball in the air, but no, incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Jackson now. 
And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And the Bills are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. Well, this is just crazy. He's got three interceptions, Charles, and we haven't even departed the first half of this ball game. I think if you're looking at the stats... Oh, even my girl said you need to quit. He, he was like, why he ain't quit yet? Like, you need to get up off. You're about to steal, bro. You're not coming back. Come on, man. Leave. I think if it's him, he wants to be on the field at all times. Option play, here's Cook. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. A final shot before half for Allen. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. And oh, that would get a wide up incomplete. Nearly an interception in the end zone. Probably should have been. Third down coming up. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he tries to get as much as he can here while protecting the football as he dives to the ground. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. We'll see, Charles, if they had a chance to hit the reset button at halftime. They have not scored. They're facing this big deficit. And if they're going to come back, it's going to have to start right now. Yeah, and for... And my goodness, another interception. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. And that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime... They spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. So after the INT, it's Allen. Finding Knox there, complete. He'll get it inside the 20. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Cook. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. Second down and goal. Allen, and that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Isaiah McKenzie with his second touchdown of the night. And the Bills take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. And now the Raven defense going to call a timeout. It's just their first, so... Yeah, thank you for leaving. Goodbye.